Tonight we welcome back to Penn State an alum who, in a distinguished career spanning six decades, has been at the forefront of modeling of Earth's climate and advised five presidents about that topic. Dr. Warren Washington is a recently retired senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. He received the National Medal of Science in 2010 and received his PhD from Penn State in 1964. Welcome back to Weather World, Warren. Thank you. It's very good to see you again. This is actually a return visit for you. You were on Weather World back in 2010. So uh, what have you been up to the last eight years? Well, I think I've been up to a lot of things in terms of uh, research. I'm still trying to work with people who are making climate models more accurate and, 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 their, and their, their capabilities more challenging in the sense that they take into account things like vegetation, sea ice, and uh, snow on the sea ice, and all kinds of improvements in the climate models to reproduce the, the overall world's climate. All right, so these things have just been incre become increasingly complex over time. Um, you have, what are your strongest recollections from your time at Penn State? Well, I was uh, a student uh, working on my PhD under Hans Panoski and Robert Duquette, and, and they sort of taught me to be fairly independent about my research. Um, they supervised in, a, in the expected way of giving advice. But it was really a lot left up to, to me as to what I chose to specialize in. So along those lines, in a way, I think it's fair to say you helped let the cat out of the bag when it came to the modeling, the computer modeling of the global climate. Did you have any sense back then how big of a cat it would be? No, I didn't. Th I think that in the early days we were just trying to see if we could do it. And now it's more into refining these models to answer important societal questions. For example, are we going to have more heat waves? Are we going to have fewer days of, of summer or more days of summer, depending on how the, the climate system is, is forced? In your opinion, you know, what's the right place, sort of the sweet spot, to begin a conversation about climate change with someone who's new to the topic? Well, I think the, the, the basic premise of, of climate change in terms of the modeling is that we can actually figure out what is causing climate change. And the, the, the biggest component to it is the increase of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which then has a tendency to warm up the climate system. And then there's all sorts of uh, secondary questions. For example, are we going to get more rain? Are we going to get stronger hurricanes? Are we going to change uh, the flooding? frequency and, and where it, it, it will affect people in various ways. I think uh, <clears throat> that we can answer a lot of these scientific questions that are important to the public and to the, to the government. Um, the intersection of science, you mentioned the government, and politics can sometimes be a bit uh, prickly or contentious. In your opinion, how can that intersection work smoother? Well, I, <clears throat> I think that we have to, be, have to realize that uh, some people are going to be adversely affected by climate change. And in, uh, there's a very strong contingent of, of people who are in the fossil fuel industry who are going to be affected by any policy changes. And they're very resistant to uh, wanting to change their practices. But on the other hand, that we have people who are going to be affected by climate change, and they should have a role in, in putting their input into the policy decisions. So I think uh, 
in general, it's not going to be an easy issue to sort of deal with. And the thing that really uh, concerns me is that it's going to affect our children and grandchildren. We just have a few seconds left. Um, you have written a couple books. Um, most recently, Odyssey and Climate Modeling, Global Warming and Advising Five Presidents. What was the best part about writing that book? Well, I, and the best part is I did that with, with my wife, Mary <laughs> Washington. But uh, secondly, I wanted to kind of indicate to the new generations that are coming forth that they uh, could learn for how science is really being done and it would help motivate them to join uh, scientists like me in, in dealing with some very important societal issues. Right. So uh, I'm always enthused about talking to young people as even coming back here to Penn State I had an opportunity to, to meet with young students and I told them that you never know on what you're going to end up doing in life and that you should be open-minded to, to opportunities. And you'll have another opportunity to talk to some students in a little bit, as I understand. Dr. Warren Washington, Thank you. recently retired senior scientist, National Center for Atmospheric Research and distinguished alum of the Penn State Department of Meteorology. We'll be back in a moment with a recap of the short-range forecast.